All right, we're going to run through real quick how to automate Panda Docs with Go High Level. Uh, as always, if you want me to build this stuff, feel free to reach out to me on the phone number there or drop me a line on the email uh, listed there, highlevelguru at gmail.com or the website. So let's jump into it real quick. Uh, our steps here, I've kind of mapped it out a little bit. Uh, we've got some stuff in high level we're going to do. We've got some stuff with Panda Docs and we've got some stuff with Zapier. So let's jump into it real quick. With the system, we're going to make a survey, we're going to make a pipeline, and then we're going to add some automation to make that lead get added to that pipeline. So let's go make our survey real quick. So this is what we're going to ideally use to capture and create a new contract. So uh, let's get in here, new contract request is what our name is going to be and then let's just put the traditional stuff that we would normally see uh, on something like this and then I'm going to go to custom fields and then I'm actually going to make another variable called contract price and I'm just going to put that with my contact not really all that important and let's put contract price over here typically if we send out a contract to somebody we're certainly trying to put a price on there uh, so let's save that survey now. Uh, now let's hit settings and let's go make a pipeline real quick. We're going to make a pipeline called new contract, new contract automation, new contract sent. So we're going to have this new contract sent. And now finally what we want to do is we want to go make some automation. So what I've done is I've made a folder in my automations, contract automation. I'm going to make a workflow that's basically going to perform something based upon that survey being completed. So new contract request. And what's going to trigger this is going to be that survey. So survey submitted. Survey is new contract request. And then what we want to do is, what we're going to do is we're actually going to look forward a little bit into the future and we're actually going to remove this opportunity from new contract automation just based upon the chance that this might be the second or third or fourth time that we're trying to send somebody through the same process. For opportunity source, I'm going to use this variable right there so it dates everything the day that it was created. Uh, and then we're going to save this and then one final step here is we're actually going to come in here to settings and we're going to turn allow multiple to on. That way if somebody is using this more than one time, it's not going to break the second time. So let's go back to our steps here. So we've made a survey, we made a pipeline, we made an automation and we triggered this to yes. Now we need to go create a contract. Uh, and then we need to import that into Panda Docs. So I'm going to go look at our contract here. You can see I've kind of got a nice little decoy contract here. So we're going to have a date, we're going to have a price, we're going to have the printed name of the person, and then we're going to have them sign. And we're also going to make them initial on each one of these spots. So let's go over to Panda Docs. But first what we're going to do is we're going to download this. So we're going to download this into a Word doc. So it's going to save that. Now we go back to Panda Docs. On the left side, be very careful to click on Templates. Click Create, and then we're going to upload that document that we just put in here. We're not going to convert it. We don't need to do that. So let this load in here. And then what we're going to do, the easy thing to do, this is anything we pull from down here is something that the client has to do. So it's easy to splash the signature on here. It's easy to bring the initial thing here. We can just duplicate this too, which is really cool. So I can quickly splash uh, a lot of mandatory interaction here for the customer, which is nice. This is kind of a highly binding deal. What we want to do here, though, for contract date and contract price, uh, for date, we're going to allow the customer to fill that in. But then for price, what we want to do is we want to put a text block here. That way we can put a custom variable. And then the same thing down here uh, for printed name. So now we're going to go to variables right here. You can see first and last name already exist. You can always make these variables. I'm just hitting copy there. And then I'm just going to paste. I'm hitting a space in between. I'm hitting copy again. And now I'm hitting paste again. And then contract price. What's interesting is now we need to make a variable. So I'm going to do that by hitting plus. 
we're going to make a contract price variable. What's interesting here too is that it looks like they've hidden it. You have to hit this custom drop down menu and it's right there. So hit the copy button, hit the paste button. Excellent, we're well on the way here. Now to save this, what we want to do is we want to hit use this template. And then we want to hit skip. So now this should be showing as a save contract. So now we're going to go over to Zapier. Under Zapier, we're going to go to My Apps. If you don't have High Level and PandaDoc already connected, here's where you do that. So hit, if you don't already have it, hit Add Connection. You would search either for PandaDocs or Lead Connector. Lead Connector is how you connect High Level to Zapier. Uh, you're going to need an API code for Lead Connector. So you hit settings in your portal and you hit this little notepad here thing to copy this. If you, if this shows up null or void or something like that because it's a new portal, you might have to regenerate it if this is the first time you're running through this. So let's just assume that you've got this figured out. We're going to go make a zap now. Uh, now I'm going to new zap. What's going to trigger this is going to be an event from lead connector, which is high level. It's going to be a pipeline stage change. I'm selecting my high level portal that I added in there. This is the pipeline, which is new contract automation. The stage is going to be new contract sent. I'm just going to continue through. I'm hitting test trigger. So that's going to push our variables through here. So now what we want to have happen is something in PandaDoc. So our event is now going to be create document. Now we're going to tell it what account. That's the account that we just authorized for Zapier to have access to. Our name. This is where you name it. So I just called this like new contract. I don't know why they want you to name it in here. Template though, this is where we're actually going to assign. So here we go. There's the template that we just made. Message. This is where we could customize and we could put the, you know, the user's first name in there. Here is the contract. Kind of customize that message any way you want. You could put as many custom variables. This is the email, so this is the email the contract is going to be sent to. If you don't see these variables dropping down, it's because you didn't hit the test button above. So you definitely want to have these variables dropping down. So this is how we're going to customize the contract. Company we don't use, cell phone we don't use for this. Recipients, if you want to CC somebody, you could do that. Contract price. Let's just use this to search for the variable that we made, which is contract price. And that's it. We're actually not going to test this. We're actually going to skip this test because it's going to error out. And we're just going to publish this. We're going to publish this app. Publish and turn on. Now we're going to go back to the system. Now we're going to go trigger the automation. And let's just see if we did everything correctly. And let's see if I get emailed the contract. So now we're going to go back to our contract request. Let's just launch this survey. You probably want to host this at a domain and make this all nice at some point. But for now. So the survey gets completed. The survey should queue the automation. The automation should add us here to the pipeline, which would be right here. That's going to trigger, if we go back to PandaDocs now, and if we go to our dashboard, if we click on sent, you can see less than a minute ago. Now you probably just heard my email there in the background. So it looks like everything is happening the way we want it to happen. Let's take a peek at what this email looks like. This is exactly what we're looking for here. So this is what the customer would see. Nice little one pager. So they get to adopt and sign so they can quickly go through here and authorize this contract. They can date the contract and now they can sign the contract. And now they can hit finish. So this is what they're going to see. Of course, PandaDocs tries to solicit them, which is a little weird. Uh, and then you'll notice now if you go back to your Panda Docs here to your dashboard, if we go to completed, now you have a new completed contract in here. Boom. And now you probably just heard my email ding. 
Uh, you don't even really have to automate it as soon as the contract comes in, PandaDoc sends this stuff over. So we've completed all stages of this. The automation flow worked perfect at the bottom here. So survey completed, Zapier triggered, PandaDoc sent. Customer signed it, you were instantly alerted. So if you want me to build something like this for you, certainly feel free to reach out to me at the information above. But this should serve as a way to completely automate PandaDocs and high level.